English policing methods. Mercedes? Nothing. You're still watching him? Not right at this moment, no. I said keep him in sight. Some things are above and beyond the call of duty, Blake. Speedboat coming in. Anything you're in? Freeze. Douglas. Douglas, I'm gonna swing for you. I mean it. Now come in. Turn round. Slowly. Now, uh, about this timeshare. Douglas? Yeah? What are you playing at? Nothing. You still with him? Uh, yeah. Are, are you following someone? Is there someone there with you? No. Yeah. Over and out. Out. Aqua lungs. New one on me. Jesus, they must be gold plated. coche? Está usted loco, hombre. Está usted completamente loco. ¿Qué quería? ¿Un sitio malo para aparcar en Marbella? Pues lo ha encontrado, hombre, lo ha encontrado. Lo siento, lo siento. Ha habido un accidente en la carretera y justo por aquí tenía que pasar la ambulancia, la policía, el camión de los bomberos. My guys come out of the bank. It's only a small fortune. Y no han pasado, pues porque a usted no le ha dado la gana aparcar en la esquina como está mandado e ir andando hasta el jodido banco. Stick with him. Bit difficult at the moment. Venga, los papeles. Venga. People push past you, shove you, swear at you, treat you like muck. Couples always move you on. And all we're asking is half an hour of your time. We're not human beings to you lot, are we? We're just timeshare rent. <laughs> People are busy, that's all. You shouldn't cry over something like that. Oh, that's not why I'm crying. You'll start soon. I'm not crying. Oh, I'm gonna go at me. No, I won't. Oh, you will, he's gone. What? Call the police. No. Look, it's a police matter now. There's only one in possession. We'll wait till it's divided up. This is my job, we agreed. They'll share it out somewhere safe. We'll be there, won't we? No problem. I know the manager. No. No police. These people pay much money. No trouble, no police. I'm sure they'll be discreet. Entenda-lo, 
curva del tejado en la puerta. Venga, vamos, muévanse, muévanse. Pero se puede saber que es toda esta mierda. Uno solo de ustedes bastaría para llamar a la puerta. Tengo más de 100 personas viviendo arriba. Tira la puerta abajo. Tira la puerta abajo. Tira la puerta abajo. Five grand. Would you sooner do 25 years? Venga, métele ya. Dale, 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 Doorbell not working. Ahora sí que estoy bien metido en la mierda, delgado. Lo sabes. Lo siento. Tú y tu jodido hijo de la Gran Bretaña. Tú me metiste en esto. Me diste tu palabra. Ya te he dicho que lo siento, joder. Me diste tu palabra. Is this down at you? Yes. Me dije, si del caso Your feet piensa... aren't gonna touch, pal. I'm sorry. You're gonna be sorry, all right. And you, plod, because I've seen no warrant. What kind of place is this? Grand a week this cost me. Senor, I'm sorry. Sorry? Look at the state of it, for God's sake. Take a good look, Ralf. How am I gonna get all this back together again, eh? I'll give you another apartment. And what do I tell my wife? You think I chose all this? Weeks she spent. Weeks and bloody weeks. And then this lot barges in like a keystone bloody cops and they get the place. Look, we said we're sorry. I'm the one that's sorry, darling. You know what I mean? And as for drugs, for God's sake, look at me. Do I look like a bloody addict? Some kind of private dick, are you? Yes. Then you need a license. And I know people. You know what I mean? I'll be having a word in someone's ear and I'll be seeing a lawyer. You won't have a dog license after this, pal. And I'm still waiting. Señor. For the warrant. La próxima vez que des un cante delgado, haz lo mejor. Estas gentes no son precisamente campesinos. ¿Te enteras? Lost him. How? He jumped the lights. You didn't think of jumping the lights, too? <laughs> no. When was this? Oh, half an hour ago? Half an hour ago. Yeah. Two hours ago, we were in the same room as him. Oh. Go. Beg your pardon? Go. What do you mean, go? I mean, no. Lawyers, police, all of Spain are threatening me because of you and because of you. So I need to act. I need to be seen to act. So go. Sorry.
plague. Don't talk to me. I can explain. Don't even try it, Douglas. You come anywhere near me, I'm going to hit you so hard and so fast, you'll think you've been surrounded now. Start off! Look, it's not my fault. There was somebody in the car and they started crying. Ah! Oh! Is it yours? This was no accident, you know. Stay away from me. I never want to see you again. Why? Why? Because you're a complete waste of space. An idiot. A spineless, gutless, bloody fool. You make all those promises to that old woman. Hey? Her son's lying dead in a coffin and you tell her you're going to get the dealers and you're going to bang them away and you're going to do this and you're going to do that and what happens? You haven't even got the brains to stick to a man. You haven't even got the guts to admit when you've lost him. All my life, Douglas, all my life, ever since I went to the yard, I've been looking after you. Well, I've had enough. From now on, I'm going to look after myself. So stuff you, stuff your boat and stuff everything, right? I can take a hint. Por la mañana cuando los tamboriles tocan diana, cuando los tamboriles tocan diana, y por la tarde tocan los tamboriles, y por la tarde tocan los tamboriles, tocan al baile, a la hembra placenta, saca. Whisky. as it comes. You must be very brave. No, oh, no, not really. Just a job. Is that the time? Oh, do you have to go? Mm. Well, thank you for talking to me, Lisa. Thank you. Would you like to see me home? I'd love to see you home. Wait up. Quinta, por favor. Hello. How do you want your coffee? Oh, um, white, no sugar. There's nothing wrong with your figure. There's nothing wrong with. Yes. Can I use your bathroom? I am not dreaming. I am not dreaming. I am not. 
What do you mean? Five thousand pesetas, and you'll have a wonderful time. What? Twenty thousand, then. Slightly less wonderful, no less memorable. You. You. What? I'm sorry. I didn't realize. What? You didn't realize what? Situation. What did you think? I thought. I thought you liked me. Fifteen thousand. Sorry. I don't want another list of complaints. I only said all right. On the whole, no. Good. Snap. People hurl abuse and criticism. But you take it and you keep going. You know why? Because you know that deep down inside you, there's a little bit of goodness, a bit of decency. Of course, in some people, it's buried deeper than others. In your case, Blake, it would take a JCB, but it's there. It is... You are lovable. You can be loved. And one night, out of the blue, there she is, this vision. And she's walking towards you, and you know it's because she's seen it. This, this bit of you that people can love, this scintilla of goodness she has seen it in you all the people in that room and she has seen it in you that's what you think everybody's dream you farted Yeah.
Do you know what hurt me more than anything else? That she didn't tell me she was on the game. I mean, it'd have been you, she'd have told you. She'd have made it absolutely clear straight away. But me? Uh, I'm 56, so I'm bound to know it's pay to lay. I didn't know. I thought she'd seen something in me. Wish I'd been there to see it. trouble you can't hold your booze I always try to be someone else because I can't stand the person I am you throw up in there you're overboard I'm not drunk you're legless I'm 56 man of my age doesn't get drunk I have all my bits without me I have all my wits about me I'm in full control of my fa I I've always wanted to be like you a lot. A proper cop. Do the job, and to hell with who gets hurt. No sob stories, thank you. This is my room. Well, I can't. I'm, I'm Douglas Bromley of Records. And along comes this young girl from Rochdale. And she's got energy. And she needs to sell these stupid timeshares, and every time she fails, she gets a bit sadder, and a little bit older, and a little bit of that energy drips away, and I can't bear to see it. So I'm listening to her. I mean, I know I should be keeping tabs on this man, but there's another human being in the car, and she needs me to listen to her. That's my bed. I lost him. I lost him because I listened to a sob story. I lost him because I was moved, that's all. Bloody, stupid, bloody moved. You're in my bed. Blake. Yeah? Something else. Yeah? I bought a timeshare. Is there anyone human or alive in there? In the name of God! Who did this? What? Someone's been sick! It's all over the place! Who do you think? All right. My shirt and trousers are at the cleaners. Oh, I'm sure you'll get over it. 900 pesetas. That's over the price of one. Are you going to pay? No. Have you no shame? Spain is heartily sick of lager louts. They ruin the good name of our country, but they're young. I mean, they've some excuse. But you, Blake, for God's sake, man, just pull yourself together. Metcalf called me before. Oh. What's his dry cleaning bill got to do with me? Things had too much sun. I'm sick of him. 
sick of this place. I'm thinking of going home. What, England? Yeah. What would we do? We're coppers. <laughs> and 56, they'll never take me back. Be nice in England now. Oh, yeah. Muggers and junkies still asleep. Two friends, nice and packed. Someone's pile of beer wafting across your face. Traffic, exhaust fumes, dog turds. My God, I missed it. Where are you going? Visitors. Good morning. Yes, it is. We've come to repay that favour, Douglas. That's nice. How would you like a job? A very well-paid job. Take us fishing. Now? In a couple of hours. I haven't got any tackle on board. That's all right. We'll manage. They've loaded the stuff, right? They're on deck drinking champagne. I sneak away. Reaching here. Don't give up your day job. Where are you going? We need help. Don't do anything till I get back. No. Oh, come on. One phone call. They would ignore it. The police are sick of us right now, Blake. We could catch them bang at it. We'd be proved right all along. You and your dad would be flavor of the month again. <laughs> would be even bigger for us. We'd get there and the boat would be clean. The wide open sea to tip it all into. Oh, so we do nothing? Correct. I'll pay you back. I'll take you to dinner. Will you? Yeah, and make mad passionate love till dawn. Do you have much success with this approach? No, not really. We're supposed to be thinking of something. I have thought of something. What exactly? I'm getting a bit sick of the meaningful looks, you see. The come on and the knockbacks. What have you thought of? I'm getting a bit sick of the put downs. I see through all that. You're scared. So what do you do? Act cool. Think of a smart remark. I'm not scared of you, Blake. I work with you. That's not easy. You're not an easy man to work with. It would be a lot harder if I was one of your conquests. Blake! Oh, my God, the idiot. The bloody stupid idiot! Aye, aye, Skipper. We're all right. The man's a clown. Drugs, for God's sake. Hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of drugs. Vale, vale. Vale. a bordo! Look, if you shift yourselves right now, you can catch them. So please move it, will One you? One moment, senor. Oye, creo que tienes que subir a bordo. Listen, do you understand what I'm saying to you? Drugs. Oye, ¿tú has visto ese barco antes? Oh, look, pal, my mate's out there, and he's going to get killed unless you do something about it. So come on, will you make a shape? You want me to arrest him? Oh, for God's sake. Hey!
You get them ready stuff, do you? In closing again, have you? Do, do you mind? Section 2, Rules of Etiquette. All members must have strict amount. What it is? He's daft, but he's not that daft. We kill him then. Got to. People saw us leave. Have to be an accident. Pity. I was getting to like him. this below deck. Naughty, naughty. Shall I do it? I don't mind. Make off, you tight-fisted git! Bromley, you idiot! Well, that'll kill you. See if I care. See if anybody cares. They'll say it was self-defense. They'll say you bored them to death. Cut the edge. How have you been feeling lately? A bit depressed, actually. Oh. Well, I'm getting on a bit. I'm 56. Can't do the things I used to. Gets me down a bit. If I were you, Douglas, I'd shoot myself. <laughs> Nothing first. Uh, look, I was just about to ask you if you'd care to join me. Well, that's very decent of you, Dougie. Very British. Cheers. Cheers. Clueless. Gormless. Senseless. Helpless. Stupid! Idiot! Another? Yeah, why not? And all because the lady loved them. In Ahab, I presume. Not to be taken with alcohol. We are sailing past all me Nothing personal, by the way.
Muchas gracias. No, es... Ah, de nada. Muchas gracias. Amigos again? Of course. Dinner tonight? Don't we build up a two? Well, why don't we just make it three? Look. Hey! 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 You lose faith, you have enough. You can't cope when the going is tough. You let it slip, you let it slide. The grass is greener on the other side. For it, Georgie Fame's song from the Granada series, El Cid, will be available in record stores from Monday, the 12th of March. You lose faith, you have enough. You can't cope when the going is tough. You let it slip, you let it slide. The grass is greener on the other side. See you too. I thought you were in South Africa. I got homesick for you, Frankie. What do you want? The boss needs a hand, that's all. <laughs> I'm doing nothing more for Mercer. Legs are mending nicely. We don't want to give the doctors extra work now, do we? Let me get some clothes. He's a good boy, Frankie. <laughs> Frank, sorry we never sent you a postcard. I've done you favours in the past, but I owe you nothing now. Nice girl. I heard she visited you in hospital quite a bit. Maybe next time we can save her the trouble. Arrange for matching beds. You are souls. Come on, we're going for a spin round the block. Oh, no. Hey. Get up there. Get up. Bloody vandal. Hey. Hey.
So, I've got a bit of a cash flow problem, you know it is. No, no, not really. I'm 50 grand short. I need it this time Monday. What, 50 grand cash over the weekend? I can't do that. You've got friends who can, you can do it. I have faith in you, Frank. I don't suppose I've got any choice, do I? That's very perceptive of you. Monday, remember? 48 hours. Great. You better shift your ass. Bastardo Graciento. Pardon? Bastardo Graciento. What's it mean? Greasy bastard. Little sods. Croissants are off, I'm afraid. And good morning to you. I come here for breakfast. First insults are now this. Yeah, sorry, it's the only one I've got. Scrambled eggs. Over halfway there already. Mm. I like your shirt. Have you seen the ever lovely Senora Sanchez recently? No. Come to think of it, I haven't. She hasn't done my washing in ages. I've been wearing the same underpants for a week. Please. She's usually regular as clockwork. Maybe she's ill. He wouldn't be doing his underpants. Oh, very funny. Well, I'm not doing them for you. Well, I'll go and check on her. You've got her address somewhere. He's here in Spain. Mercer. What do you want? He's making a purchase. And there's a time limit. He needs 50 grand. And that's where you come in. Correct, that's where I come in. This could be the golden opportunity to get Mercer off our backs once and for all. So what's he buying? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You have a good eye. You got the rest of these? That's what the papers say. You know my price? 300 grand. In cash. You'll get your money. Don't worry. I know I will. Don't blow it, Massa. <laughs> What's that smell? What? Bleach. This must be the place. Get my shoulder. Senora Sanchez. <laughs> what is wrong? Get my son. saying to her. Who? Senora Sanchez. She's in a right state. Ah. Oh, well, that's not my fault. What the hell did you say to her? There's no need to get so excited. There's been some thefts. It's uh, nothing big. And you accused her? I merely asked a few questions. You pompous prick. Listen to this. I only did what was right. She's the only one with the keys, and she cleans all these yachts. All of them. He'll be back soon. You sure he'll go for it? Of course he will. Blake's a reasonable man. Oh, for Christ's sake, Douglas, why do you keep getting us into these things? Frank's my friend. Then you got piss poor taste in friends, then. I've got you. Oh, leave it out, Douglas. That man wrecked our bar. How many times has he got a shit on you before you realise what he is? I'm 
sorry. It's I didn't... all right, forget it. But if you won't do it for Frank, then do it for us. Oh, do it for us. Well, think about it. Do you really think he's going to leave us alone, Mercer? It's either him or us, Blake. Frank. Talk to me. You've heard about the big diamond job in Covent Garden. Half a million pounds in stones. The whole gang's been picked up except one man, George Sands. Nasty piece of work. Now, Sands has got the diamonds, and Mercer's got Sands. Mercer wants to buy them, but he's strapped for cash. He wants me to raise the last 50 grand. We'll never get another chance like this. Look, Frank delivers the money. All we have to do is to follow Mercer, and we'll get him for, I don't know, illegal possession of stolen diamonds, harboring a fugitive, God knows what else. Okay, you got me. I don't think you ought to start raising the 50 grand. Yeah, sure, but I'm going to need some help from you. What? Well, I'm not just taking a bank loan out. I'm going to have to lean on these people. I'm going to need some muscle. I'll take Douglas. Oh, come on, Blake. No, no, I'm busy. You can do it, Douglas. You could be his minder. It's all a matter of appearances. Money! Money! Life are free, but you can get them, you can get them to the birds and beast. I know money don't get everything, it's true. But boy, they don't get honey, I just can't use. Give me money, 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 money. Give me money, money, money. Give me money, money, money. Me money. Now that's what I want. Give me money, money, uh. Give me money, that's what I want. Give me money. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions uh, about a robbery that happened to you. You can call it sin, you can call it greed. Just give me your money, that's what I need. You can call me strange, you can call me funny. Call me what you like, just give me your money. favor you owe George. When you fixed me up with this room, I didn't realize it was a timeshare bed. Have you got my money? It's on its way. The stones aren't here, Gus. Of course not.
I don't get it. Why don't I just go in there and break some fingers? Oh, subtle, Graham, subtle. Well, why not? Forget it, he's out of your league. I can take him. Look, we wait, we watch, and when the time comes, you kill him, right? Let's go to Frank's. Kind of checking you, see how things are going. Fine, things are fine, just fine. Good. If your pins can take it, let's go for a little walk, and you can tell me about my money. Who's the monkey? That's Dougie, my new miner. <laughs> You're kidding. His hands are lethal weapons. Small stuff mostly. Watches, jewellery, that kind of thing. Just like Metcalf, sir. Yeah, but Metcalf didn't ask any questions. So? So Senora Sanchez didn't clean half the boats anyway. And most of the owners remember seeing some kids on mopeds hanging about the day the stuff disappeared. Coincidence. It's not their style. Back snatching, yeah, but not this. I well, suppose we find out. Where do they hang out? Calle La Mina, mostly. Well, let's go take a look. <laughs> Sold my jewelry. Oh, but I bought that for you. Oh, I know, but you're no good to me in hospital. Oh. How much is there there? Ten thousand, one more or less. Ten thousand? Well, that's half your problem solved. Yeah, and what about your friend? Yeah. Now, you know, the creepy one. Tony. He can take it out of his slush fund. Listen, I'd like you to get away for a couple of days, all right? Frank. Please, please. We'll be all right, I promise. Right. Let's go and empty that piggy bank. Ah, oh, that was great. I'm stuffed. Yeah, I ate too much. We'll have a chance to work it off in a minute. What? Here it comes. Answers. Senor, it's better for the bomb. That no work. Well, now, we're going to visit this friend of mine. He fancies himself as the first British mayor on the coast. We go back a long time. He'd like to forget it. Who's villa this is, don't you? 
Tell me. Anthony Holt, founder of the Yacht Club, multimillionaire, owns half of your marina. Huh. I love upsetting the rich. I thought you said you, you and this bloke went way back. I did. Then why don't we just ring his doorbell? I want to surprise him. Stole the keys from Metcalf's office, then got copies made. My son stealing watches. Why, for God's sake? He wanted into a scooter gang. It was a kind of test. Stealing from his own. That bloody scooter. I bought him all that stuff because I thought it would help him make Spanish friends. Fit in. Great. Integrated crime. Just what we need. You do realize I can't have this taken to court. I don't want your money. What then? A local cleaner lost her job over this. I think she deserves it back. So what do I do? Talk to Metcalf. He listens to decent people like you. All right, I'll see Metcalf, OK. And we'd all sleep a lot easier if your son returned those keys. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. The cleaner. Send us some flowers. Oh my God. Um, look, Mr. Blake, you know your own way out. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have guests. We have a couple of gate crashes. I want them out of here now. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What? The chap in the leather. I've seen him in action before. He's a killer. I could shift him for you, but it might mean some blood. No, no, it's all right. I'll talk to them. So he grabbed her by a more than ample buttocks. He said, must be jelly because jam sure don't shake like that. <laughs> uh, I'm sure they don't know that, Frank. Oh, yeah. I'll catch you later. This way, Frank, this way, for God's sake. Tony, you didn't tell me you were having a party. Still, I'm here now. No, this really isn't your kind of thing. Oh, I don't know. Dougie seems to be enjoying himself. What do you want, Frank? I need to ask you a little favor. I want a loan. No, I can't. Not now. Right, well, Dougie and I will just stay a little bit. Um, Tash. Hey, hope you're not drinking and driving. I'm not. You're driving. still around, really. Mm -mm. I mean, we didn't get 50 grand. What? But we've got it all here. No, I'm sorry. It's all this cash, all these damn pesetas. I got the figures wrong. We're five grand short. Count it yourself. I can't believe it. 
Well, what about Holt? We could go back and ask him for some more. No, he wouldn't worry. Come on, Butch, let's get some sleep. What about the money? Don't worry, there's another day. I'll think of something. <laughs> Fine choice. I was told you were reliable. See? Payment in cash. No questions. Yes, senor. Total discretion. But, but of course. <laughs> okay. Wrap it up. Wakey, 7 p.m. What happened to Sunday? You slept through it. I'm beginning to feel like a vampire. What's all this stuff? Breakfast. Cumberland sausage, fried bread, bacon, fried tomatoes, haggis, a lot. We are still in Spain, are we? <laughs> I had a friend over for a weekend. He brought some survival rations. What's this stuff? Shaving foam. I thought after breakfast you might try for a shave. You'll need it. Why? What are you up to? I thought of a way to get the extra cash. It came to me last night. I don't know. I didn't think about it before. What is it? Just eat, then shave, and then we're stepping out. <sighs> hmm? Your father won't help. He'd rather play golf. Of course he'll help. His family. No, 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 no. Papá. No quiero tener nada que ver con eso. Necesitan ayuda. Necesitan ayuda, pero no quiero mezclarme en eso. Ni tú tampoco, te lo prohíbo. ¿Qué me lo prohíbes? Mierda. I told you he wouldn't help. He will help. I don't think so. Ties of blood are strong here. That's something you English will never understand. Just get a cap and go home. Isn't this a bit risky? Not half as risky as turning up to Mercer without the money. I thought casinos were closed today, anyway. Yes, they are, but not this one. I was given the address by a friend. Some friend. Seven is dropped out. Nice to see you. Uh, Mr. Holt came to see me and uh, he explained everything. Really? It's about those keys. What keys were those? Well, those keys that were borrowed from my office. Oh, those keys? Yes, uh, there's no need to let this go any further, is there? I mean, uh, it could be bad publicity for the marina. Well, that's up to Senora Sanchez, really. Ah, uh, uh, yes, but I mean, you, you, you could have a word with her, couldn't you? Why should I have a word with her? You treated her like shit. Maybe it's about time you found out how that feels. Look, Blake, on my job, I could lose my job. Uh, uh, please. Well, perhaps if we gave her a little incentive. A contract, say, with the marina. Official cleaner as recommended by the management. Something like that. Oh, no, I, I don't know about that. No, no, I, I, I don't. I, I'll do it. I thought you might. And how about a little apology with some flowers? Yes, yes, of course. Oh, and that calf. About what I said. About you being a pompous little prick. Oh. I meant every word of it. Let's show some What's he for? 20,000. He says he will. You're wrong. Right. Natural! Yeah. 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 We won, right? I am on a roll. How are we doing? 5,000 up. We've done it! <laughs> no, well, not quite. 
What do you mean, not quite? You said we were 5,000 up. You're 5,000 up on what we'd lost already. How much we lose already? Well, 30,000. 30, 30, you lost 30,000 pesetas? No, 30,000 pounds. What? But we only needed to win five. Do not worry. Everything is fine. I am going to get to the next one. Come on, baby! Don't be anymore! I can't believe it. I am. I'm very sorry. Sorry, sorry. What are we going to do? We've got less than twelve hours left. We can't even afford the taxi fare. Don't worry. I will think of something. Well, it's anything like your last idea. It's better you don't. <laughs> oh, sorry, puss. Sorry. Oh, salvation! Why didn't I think of this before? Come on. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm going to introduce you to the only man I know who can produce 50 grand in 12 hours. We're going to find him here? Have faith. I have a very bad feeling about this. You want a room? Uh, no, thank you. Douglas, would you take a seat, please, for a moment? May I have a word with you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Thank you. No, gracias. Uh, no, no drink. Come along, Douglas. There's a time and a place for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Adios. So no. they set out to get the treasure. Uh -oh. Why can't you keep your mouth shut? We're supposed to be guarding the treasure, remember? Ah. Ah, don't be like that. Ah. Oh. Uh, Come along, Mr. Lloyd. It's time to go to work. Ready, steady, go then, said Sam. What is it? I was told to come to Frank's. You just wanted your help, that's all. Sorry. Have you finished with that hairdryer yet? Just a couple more minutes. Miss, 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 miss. Do you, do you always dry your hair like that? What? Your hair. Do you... Do you always dry it like that? No. No. Well, don't dry my banknotes like it. Six inches away, slow, sweeping motions to dry them evenly and slowly. Otherwise, they wrinkle. Jesus Christ, Douglas, what are you doing? Well, <clears throat> we uh, had a few problems. We couldn't raise the money. So you're printing it? We didn't have any choice. I don't believe it. And these are awful. Oh, they are, are they? So you think they're awful, do you? Christ sake, what have you been eating? Not much. I've no time. I've no proper equipment. I can't work like this. I'm an artist. Piss artist, more like these won't fool anyone. 
They don't have to. We'll use bundles of these with real notes on top. Mercer will never expect anything like this from Frankie. He thinks Frank's scared shiftless of him. I am. And there's only a couple of hours before he expects me. All right, what can I do? What about some coffee? We are all pretty tired. Coffee. All right. Coffee's on the fridge, Max in the cupboard. All right. Don't open the top one, though. That's where we're keeping the research. Oh, thanks, Blake. Where'd you get all this stuff? It all belongs to Mr. Lloyd. He used to be one of the top forgers on the continent. Franks, Crusaders, Deutschmarks, the lot. And he's still got the plates. Cheers. No, that's yours on the left. Who says? Mouthwash. <laughs> 57. Cali La Benito. 30 minutes. 57. Cali La Benito. Hello? Hello? George? Where the hell is Frank? Mr. Lloyd, I hope you'll forget about all this. With great pleasure. Frank? Frank? Come on, Frank. We can't leave the place like this. There's no time. Well, what if somebody sees it? Oh, come on. I know what to do. Come on. Mm. 